Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kinetic Tutoring episode. Today we're taking a look at question 3 of the AP Calculus BC exam from 2024. So let's get straight into it. The depths of seawater at a location can be modeled by the function h that satisfies the differential equation. dh dt is equal to 1 half h minus 1 cosine t over 2, where h of t is measured in feet and t is measured in hours after noon. It is known that h of 0 is equal to 4. Part A says, a portion of the slope field for the differential equation is provided. Sketch the solution curve y equals h of t through the point 0, 4. All right, this part's pretty straight off, straightforward. You just follow the line that is provided. See where the next line leads to, like so. And here you have your solution curve. Not much else you need to do. That's pretty much it. So let's move on to part B. For the interval 0 to 5, it can be shown that h, h of t is greater than 1. So... For the value of t for the interval 0 to 5 at which h has a critical point, determine whether the critical point corresponds to a relative minimum, maximum, or neither a relative minimum or maximum of the depth of seawater in the location. Justify your answer. All right, so as we can see here, um, here is our graph of dh dt. And we can see here that this is a maximum because the slope goes from positive to negative. The maximum is here. Uh, the slope reaches zero. So we're going to write relative maximum. But we have to find out where this point is. We can see it's around three. So using this equation, we have to see where this equation dh dt is going to be equal to zero. Or actually, sorry, it's d h prime of t has a relative max. We're not sure if um, h of t is going to have a relative max. So um, let's take a look. Uh, what, and what we want to do is find out from the interval 0 to 5 what makes this 0 and we can see that h being 1 is going to make this 0 but that does not work because here it says that h needs to be greater than 1 so it needs to be the cosine t over 2 in the interval from 0 to 5 and looking at our unit circle um, the first point where cosine is 0 is at 90 degrees which is going to be pi over 2 which um and since we, since it's going to be cosine pi over 2 we already have the over 2 t is just going to be equal to pi which makes a lot of sense because pi is really close to 3 so there you have it at at t equals pi, h prime of t is equal to 0. So now we make a number line. We have pi here, and we're going to see if h of t is going to be positive or negative um, on either side to, de to determine if it's a relative minimum, relative maximum, or neither. So let's see. All right, to do this, we need to go to part C where we use separation of, or sorry, no, we don't. All right, so all we have to do is we have to um, see, okay, so H is going to be positive either way because H is greater than one. One half is going to be positive. So let's see before and after pi if cosine of t over 2 so let's say pi over 4 and then 3 pi over 4 and as we can see it goes from cosine of pi of 4 pi over 4 is positive and cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative so we're going from positive to negative 
meaning that this is going to be a relative maximum. So relative maximum, relative maximum at t equals pi. There we go, that is our answer for b. Now let's take a look at part c. Use separation of pair variables to find y equals h of t, the particular solution to the differential equation with the initial condition h of zero is equal to four. So let's write out what we're given dh dt is equal to one half h minus one cosine t over two. All right, so let's separate our variables dh over h minus one is equal to one half cosine t over two. Now we can integrate both sides. This gives you natural log of h minus one and this you do a u sub where you set u as t over 2 du becomes 1 half dt we have a 1 half dt which we can solve for du so we then we get cosine u du and the integral of cosine u du is sine of u and u is t over 2 so we get sine of t over 2 make sure to add a plus c on one of the two sides as i'm doing here and then we use the initial condition h is or when t is 4 when t is 0 h is 4 so sine of 0 over 2 sine of 0 is going to be 0 and h is going to be 4 so we get natural log of 3 is equal to 0 plus c so natural log of 3 is c so then we get natural log of h minus 1 is equal to sine t over 2 plus natural log of three. So there you go, there is your particular solution. And yeah, that's how you go about solving this problem. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. And if you learned something new or you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.